hers. The storm raged strongly through the night, with howling wind and lashing rain, the power lines were ripped from poles, and river levels rose again. Down by the church, the ancient oaks were bent in two and shedding leaves, then came a loud resounding crack, a lightning bolt had hit a tree. The ancient tree was split asunder, and lifted half out of the ground, and in the earth beneath the roots, a grinning skull was duly found. The village people crossed themselves, and told newcomers to beware, a screaming skull that foretold death to anyone that met its stare. A local expert took the skull, a way to study age and race, the villagers relaxed again, without its presence round the place. Then news got round the grapevine that, the expert, found last night quite late, lay dead, with his eyes open wide, meanwhile the skull observed his fate. The skull returned in lead-lined box, to be entered from whence it came, no gravestone was to mark its place, for no one had found out its name. The vicar knelt to lift the skull, and place it in the blast earth, but sadly, met the skull's dead stare, and succumbed to the deadly curse. They left it in its lead-lined box, and locked it in the church's crypt, away from light and curious eyes, so no one would be lured by it. The skull sits waiting for the day, when some nosy historian, comes snooping round the silent crypt, and reignites the curse again.